Okay, I'm going to make a video here that shows how to operate SC705 wirelessly using a laptop. I would assume a desktop also, maybe a tablet, and uh, using it with uh, wirelessly without having to buy the ICOM um, remote software. So I considered buying that and thought maybe I could find a way to do it without. And I didn't come up with this idea. Uh, this I'll uh, attach a link that shows the website I used, but then uh, I'm going to demonstrate what worked for me. So let's go through the software I'm using here. Uh, I downloaded something called VSPE, which is Virtual Serial Port Emulator, because you're not going to be using a USB cable, so you need to emulate some virtual ports for grid control and for um, uh, audio in and out. So you download Virtual Serial Port Emulator, you'll run it, and when it first runs it won't show any uh, anything here, it won't show COM20 or connector. Uh, what you do, you go to this uh, little button here, and it's going to, your specified design, uh, device type, I, it was already on connector when I opened it, and that worked, go to next. It's going to ask you what virtual serial port are you going to create. I used all the way up here at COM20. It's already in use. Uh, because it wasn't already in use on my uh, laptop or any other devices I plugged in. So you choose whatever's going to work for you without interfering with uh, other things that you might plug in while you're running this. All right, so you'll hit finish, not cancel like I just did. And what's going to pop up is that COM port you just created will pop up. Connector, OK. Highlight it, click Start Emulation. It's showing initialization OK. All right, don't forget what COM port you chose there because you're going to need that a couple more times later. All right, minimize that. Then you're going to download something called WFVU. All right, and this is the uh, software package that's going to create your uh, rig control here. So you download it, run it, it'll pop up, you won't have anything on the waterfall. You're going to go over to settings. And this is what I used here. This worked for me. Um, let's see. I'm going to select that you're connecting over LAN. And um, radio IP address, I'll show you how to find that on your 705 radio control port. That'll also be on there. On your 705, you're going to have to create a username and a password. And let's see. You're also going to select down here. I'll show you in a minute uh, which uh, audio in and out you're using. All right, so for now, let's jump over to the 705. All right, you're going to go to Menu and go to Set Settings. Let's start up here first. Go to Connectors. Let's see, make sure I don't forget anything. WLAN, output select AF. Um, let's see here. Um, mod input. Okay, if you don't select uh, uh, data mode input, if you don't select what data mode you're using when you're in data mode on sideband, um, if you don't have this selected yet, uh, WLAN, then it's going to, when you go into data mode, it's going to think you're either wanting to use the mic or the USB, whatever you've selected here. You have to turn this on, WLAN. And I would assume you could make um, a preset for uh, digital, for, you know, for maybe for uh, WFU wireless. I don't know. I haven't done that. All right. So back at settings, uh, connectors. Okay, so mod input has been chosen as uh, LAN. Uh, let's see. I don't think that needs no. Okay, that's good. You're not using the USB. You're not using the CIV like that. So that's okay. Now you're going to go down to WLAN settings. And you're going to turn WLAN on at the top of that menu. Make sure that's on or you, this won't work. Uh, connection settings for your station. Now it's going to show you your DHCP address. 
all these other things are already blacked out. DHCP address. This is the address for your rig, your radio. So, well, this is the address for my radio. Yours will be something similar. Probably not the same number. Remember what that is, because you're going to need it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, network name. I use my call sign. I'm going to go down to remote settings. You need to create a network user. I did network user one, ID, my call sign. Uh, I did. I made a password. I chose yes as administrator. I'm not sure you need to do that, but that's what I did. All right, and go into uh, data mode. Go back to get out of data mode. All right, now go back to WFU. You're going to enter that IP address that we just talked about. Uh, five zero 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 one. Com port, whatever com port you created, and uh, virtual cable input and output. And you're going to hit connect, which should be right here. Mine's already connected. And then when you go up here, sorry, the kids just got home. Got transmit. Should go into transmit. Okay, there you go. And I'll do a part two that shows the settings for uh, FT8. I'm going to quiet down in here.